Pastor Philip Mitchell is as real as it gets. He shares a story about how before he was married to his wife, he fell into fornication with her. Then he made a decision to get married so his house would be holy. Now, a lot of people are not doing that. Their girlfriend, their boyfriend, they're living together, fornicating. They're engaged, living together, fornicating. You are, you, you got to get married. You got to get married or move out. All right. But let's play this video. It, it's so powerful and it's so it's so necessary. There's so many Christians that are in this scenario and they're choosing sin. Say, my wife and I first got saved. We lived in an apartment together. She couldn't afford to get her own apartment. I couldn't afford to get my own apartment. And I remember that first night, man, after we got saved, I came out that bathroom weeping tears. I knew God saved me, but she, my wife, I'm attracted to her. <laughs> that one right there. And I, I remember, man, I, I went into that room and, and we blessed the Lord that night. Laid it down that night. But I was a Christian now. So as soon as, soon as it was over, I felt guilty for the first time. It's like. And now the spirit alive in me brought the law of sin in me. And I'm like, oh, snap. This don't feel good. You know, I, I want to interject really quick and say something. Listen, he just recently, when he's talking about this, He's talking about when he just recently got saved, had an encounter with the Lord, you know, eyes tearing, eyes are tearing, eyes are watering, but he still fell into fornication the same night. And that's how, that's how much, you know, that's how, that's how easy it is to fall into temptation when you are living with someone you're not married to. It is not ideal. It is not God's way for you to be living with someone who is not obviously a family member or is not your wife or husband. Because it opens up the door to sexual immorality. Straight up. So he straight up fell into sin because he was in an environment to sin. Right? They both loved each other. They were both tempted by each other. But he did something that prevented him from no longer being able to fall into sin with her sexually. And this is something that Everyone needs, everyone needs to do right now if you're in this scenario. And you know what I did? I started sleeping on the couch. And she stayed in the bedroom. And I set a boundary so I can honor God. Come on. Now, if you're in that scenario and you're like, I have nowhere to go and whatnot, sleep on the couch. Sleep on the couch and go get married ASAP. There's people I've met with um and they're talking about they're talking to me about going through deliverance and they're living together they're not married right and, and some of them were engaged but they've been engaged for four years and they're living together i'm like what are y'all doing y'all phoning kid y'all on your way to hell in the name of waiting to get married because of what to have a big wedding to be ready financially but y'all living together and fornicating together if there's no way out for the man to leave or the woman to leave or whatever Someone got to sleep in the couch and y'all got to plan to get married ASAP. And for months I stayed on the couch. She stayed in that bedroom. Did not touch her after that first night. Hmm. That's self-control. We got wow. married in an office. A pastor, I went to a pastor and said, listen, I don't want to be in sin. Can you? So he married us in private. Nobody knew. So we could be holy at home. Come on. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. You cannot worship God if you're still fornicating. You cannot worship God if you're fornicating with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your fiance. You cannot be in right standing with God. You are on your way to hell, and neither the fornicators, neither the adulterers, neither this, this, that will inherit the kingdom of God. 
And then we had a public wedding later on. And everything, we, we were so broke. Because remember, I lost my job. I was in prison the day after I got saved. I lost my job at the TSA. Had no job. And, and God moved on people's hearts to pay everything for our wedding. We honored him in private. He honored us in public. Wow. Now, my question is, what is stopping you from getting married? What is stopping you from repenting of your sins? What is stopping you? If you, tr if, if you truly love that person, why don't you get married? And, and, and people are remaining in wickedness because of, oh, I'm not ready to get married. But you're ready to live, for, you're ready to live with someone, fornicate with them, create a soul tie, you know, share a house with them and share food and feed each other and whatnot, but you're not ready to get married. You're living like you're married, but you just don't have the title. You're having babies out of wedlock and all this stuff. And this is why people are filled with demons and they live in unstable homes and their marriage is all jacked up because before the marriage, they lived in wickedness, didn't repent or go through any form of deliverance. So they just got married in a demonic foundation. Got to repent. Got to call in the name of the Lord. Lord, forgive me. I confess. Lord Jesus, purify me, sanctify me, deliver me. And, th and this is a real thing. I've met with people who are boyfriend and girlfriend. I've met with people who are engaged. And I, I told them the truth. I told them the truth. It's better to honor God and just get married. Or if you guys don't see a future together, move out and end the relationship. Because if you don't do what's right, you're going to end up in hell. Or some form of baby out of wedlock or STD or something. Anyways, this was powerful. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. If he could do it, you can do it. Straight up. And he was living uh -huh, with, with his future wife in his house. Come on now.